Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on elbow dislocation. Introduction. Elbow dislocations usually occur in the young adults and account for up to 25% of elbow injuries. 90% of elbow dislocations occur posteriorly, with 50% suffering bony injury. For clinical features, patients typically present following a high-energy fall. The joint will be painful and deformed, with associated swelling and decreased function, usually near immobile and near full extension. A complete neurovascular examination of the upper limb is essential. A deficit is often found in the territory of the ulnar nerve. As neuropraxia of this nerve is common, a good capillary refill can be found even in those with an arterial injury. Due to the elbow having a rich collateral circulation, for investigations, any patients presenting with significant trauma should be resuscitated, investigated, and managed as per ATLS protocols. For otherwise stable patients, plain film radiographs of the elbow, both AP and lateral, are required initially. Elbow dislocations can be identified from the loss of the radiocapitellar and ulnotrochlear congruence. CT imaging is only really useful as an adjunct in cases with associated fractures. This is a picture showing the lateral view of plain X-ray of a dislocated right elbow. For management, initial management, following examination and documentation of neurovascular status, requires closed reduction, ensure sufficient analgesia and sedation if appropriate, and apply an above elbow back slab once reduced to keep the elbow at 90 degrees. For a simple elbow dislocation with no fracture, further orthopedic management can be as an outpatient, following with a short period of immobilization, and early rehabilitation, if the dislocation is complicated by a fracture, open type injury, or has neurovascular compromise, then operative fixation can be considered. This involved open reduction and internal fixation of the coronoid, radial head, or olecranon, with appropriate soft tissue repair, including lateral and medial collateral ligaments. There are some complications of elbow dislocation, such as early stiffness with loss of terminal extension, stretching of ulnar nerve, and recurrent instability. Another condition is terrible triad injury, which is when the elbow dislocation has three more conditions, which are lateral collateral ligament injury, radial head fracture, and coronoid fracture. That's all for this video. Thank you.